Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, UI Path RPA Learners. Hope all are doing great. So as part of today's video, we're going to see how we can combine the strings. So this will be helpful for the beginners who are starting their RPA journey freshly. Okay, so let's jump into one use case. So today I'm going to use a sequence. Uh, so before going to the use case, right, I would request everyone like who are watching this video, please subscribe, like, comment on my channel and please support us. Okay. So in a string concatenation, uh, I'm going to use a input dialog box. Okay. So in the input dialog box, let's see, let's give the dialog title as string one. Since it's a string input, I'm just providing in the double course, okay, dialog title. An input label. Enter the first string. So here, I'm not going to declare a, uh, a data here. It means I'm not going to provide a hard-coded value here. I'm going to declare a variable. So for that, I'm just pressing a control K to create a variable. I'm creating a variable with the name called first name. So when I check in a variable section, you can see first name variable is created, which is of string variable type. Okay. So let's take the next input dialog box to provide the data for my second string input. Okay. I'm giving a dialog title as a string to. So let's give an input label as enter the second string. Okay. So here I'm going to give loss name. Okay, so I've created the variable. You can check in my variable section. The two variables are ready with the string variable type. So now let's have a message box. So in the message box, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to con concatenate these two variables which holds the value of a string, right? Which I'm going to give in the runtime. With that, I'm going to give few, you know, uh, uh, default value also. I mean to say hard-coded values that I'm going to give in the string directly in the message box. Let's see how to do that. Firstly, let's concatenate this variables which is holding the string value. Okay. So let's open it so that you will know better. Okay. So what is my first variable? My first variable is a first name. And then to concatenate between the two strings, what you have to use is plus. Okay. So I'm just giving an, an a double course I'm giving just one space bar here so that so with my first name and last name, there will be a little space because it will not be, you know, uh, together. That's why. So if you need a space, what you have to do is this is the way that you can provide a spaces in a double course. So just provide a few spaces. So this will consider as a characters. So that spaces will be available in your output. Okay. And the next uh, variable is my last name. Okay. Let's run this and the next I'll show you. Okay. I'm ready. Let's debug the file. So it will ask me to provide my first input. Uh, you know, that's my first string. So let's provide the via. So that will be stored in my first name variable. And the next I'm giving us, you know, my last name. So what happens see here? So it concatenate these two variables and then provided the value in the message box if you see it here. So if you see there is a one space, one, one letter space here between your Divya and Rajendran. So that is given directly here in the message box. Getting it? Okay, this is one way. So okay, fine. Uh, so if we, now we have concatenate between the two strings. Uh, how do I give directly a value here? How that is possible? Now we have actually uh, taken a variable and con concatenated. How the strings can be directly given here? Okay, so let's provide. You know, here I'm gonna give. So let's provide a little space. Okay. Uh, 
Hi Divya, how are you? Okay, so what will happen now when it run when it is running? So it will concatenate like this, Divya Rajendran. So this is a you know I'm providing a directly string here. How are you? Instead of setting a variable, I'm just providing here. Let's see how it is coming. So we can see, hi Divya Sundar, how are you? Okay. So we'll put one hi in the beginning, and then if you see, everything is coming in the single line, right? Let's see. I'll just tell you one more. Okay. So if you see, hi Divya Rajendran, how are you? It is coming in a one single line. How do I give a value into the second line? For example, in our case, how do I enter the value of this how are you in the second line? Let's see. One small change. What I can do is environment. You can just type environment dot new line. Right? Environment dot new line plus how are you? So this is going to come in the second line. So I'm just removing the spaces here. So what happened now? Hi, Divya Rajendran will be coming in the first line. And then how are you will be coming in the second line. Who is responsible for that? This environment.new line, it's responsible for this. Actually, what will happen? It will break the line. It will break the line and it will write the next data into a second line. So this is, this will break the line. Okay. So just understand the argument. So this is hi, which I'm giving directly a string here. So in the double course. So this I'm not provided in the double course because this is a variable which I've created in my input dialog box. So this variable I'm concatenating. So I'm not providing a double course here. So and then environment.new line I'm giving because I wanted to enter the next data in the second line. So it will break the line. Then environment.new line concatenate. How are you? So this is going to come in my second line. Okay. So now you're clear. So let's run it. So it is asking here. You can see it here. What happened? Hi, Divya Rajendran. How are you? How are you is coming in my second line. Got it? I hope this concept is clear basically. So now uh, as the end of the session, uh, so whomsoever has watched this video, definitely they will get to know that how to concatenate the string from even in the variable, even in the hard coded value, how we can give it directly, how we can enter the value into the second line. That means how we break the line. Okay. So these are all the things that we learned as part of this session. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.